Yeah, hey, I thought that this would be a really good time to make a video of something very unusual and very interesting. Um, it's I've never seen it before. This is real, and I think people might find this really interesting. So here we have a, a Windows environment. You know, it's, um, I'm using the Microsoft Edge. Um, there's nothing... You know, too interesting about that. Um, here's the um, the start and the applications that are in the Windows. Um, you know, and this is a, a newer computer. I don't have much installed on it. But now, this is going to be really kind of a mind blower for some people. It's going to take a, a while to really kind of get your minds wrapped around this. But um, when I minimize the browser. We are now in the Windows subsystem, Linux system uh, environment. I've got a, um, a graphical user interface uh, in the Linux uh, subsystem. And this is a fully operational subsystem that's operating in the same Windows desktop as the Windows. Um, here's the applications. Um, all the different uh, apps that come with the um, subsystem. And here is, when I click down here, here are all the Windows apps. And like I said, this will take a little time to get you get used to seeing this because I thought, you know, I couldn't figure out what I was seeing when, when I first had this open up. Um, because it doesn't, you know, it didn't make sense. Because, you know, you have the subsystem, and then you have the windows, and they're separated, and everything's separated, and they're not in one desktop. And particularly, you know, being able to copy and paste between <laughs> between the different apps. So um, here's um, a terminal for um, the Linux. And it opens up to a root. I'll change that to a um, a non-root. I'll just change that to my regular username. So here's the Linux terminal, and here is the Windows terminal. This is the PowerShell. Uh, I can open up Command Prompt or any of the other shells. Um, directory. Oops. Wrong keyboard. It wasn't the right keyboard. Oh, yeah. Directory. Um, ls, I believe. Okay, well, that's to be expected. Um, so that's. You know, here's we have the, the the two the terminals from the two different systems in the same environment in the same desktop environment one desktop the two apps you know the two um, systems operating at the same time in the same place um, this will be this will really be interesting I can copy and paste from the Windows Notepad. Here's some text. I'll just do a new one. Uh, here's um, text. Some windows. Text. And this was done in the Windows Notepad. Copy it. Let's paste that into the Windows command prompt. It won't do anything, but um, let's paste it over here into the Linux terminal. Now, how's that for cool? Copying, pasting from one text editor into the apps that are in either of the systems. 
So, you know, this is really, 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 really very interesting. Um, the only thing I haven't been able to do is um, I demonstrated that the, the, the browser works fine in Windows. No problem. Close it. Open it. And, um, you know, everything's fine. No problem. But I cannot get the Firefox to be running in the um, in the Linux system. Uh, it, it, I can probably get that working, but um, right now that's the only thing that I can't get going concurrently at, at the same time. But otherwise, I've been able to get all my other apps uh, either from the Linux or from the Windows, and let's uh, I'll, I'll I'll do it I'll I'll do it in the reverse. I'll I'll uh, write some text in the um, in a text. Let's see where's a good text editor. Oh, there's one right there. Here's the VIM text editor. Um, okay, let's write some text. And I, ha I haven't tried storing it yet, but I'm sure I can. That was going to be Control O, if I remember. Control O. Or is it. Let's see. I'm not a, nearly as good with uh, the Linux as I am with the um, with the um, Windows. Let's see. I don't remember how to save. I thought it was Control O. Control O. Control. Insert. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know this text editor very well. Uh, but so I don't know how to save it. Um, Let's see if I can copy and paste. Copy. Okay, so I'm copying some text from the Linux um, Linux. Um, I thought it was a VIM. And I'll paste it into the Windows text notepad. Paste some text. So that was um, simply going from. I don't need this terminal open anymore. I will close that terminal. Uh, so, um, this um, is quite an interesting and unusual uh, environment, and it's uh, I think it's the future of, um, of the Windows Linux environment. Uh, you know, having just the one, the one desktop, the one environment that um, allows uh, all the apps from either operating system to be functioning. So if anybody finds this video interesting, um, leave, go ahead and leave the questions or comments or um, or uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, or um, uh, down below. So hey, thanks for watching.